Now here is where we're gonna see the full benefit of the brakes. Good morning comrades! As you previously could have seen, we have installed the big brake kit on the rain tractor and it of course does look very good. It has a bit of rust because we just washed the car, but it looks good. It's more importantly to find out how it drives like. So let's hop in and do a lap of the Nürburgring Nordschleife Touristenfahrten. All right, we're ready to go. Important notice because there's definitely going to be people asking like what about the power because yeah there is a project page in the video description of this car and it will say like 220 or 240 horsepower but that's with the mods that is planned so as of now it's stock we actually measured it on a dyno and it shows 115 or 100 yeah i think 115 horsepower on the on the clutch so on the crank basically so that's what you need to know and for everyone who is watching for the first time and going to ask what are these weird yellow things or in this case new white things those dividers that's to make sure that nobody is going to speed up or at least to speed on the public road all the speeding should be done on the track which is right there so unfortunately the local government had to install these things to make sure that yeah people don't drive like assholes all right i'm very very excited I obviously didn't test it, the brakes to their full potential on the street because that would be a responsible thing to do, to do it on a public road. Um, but let's see what it's like on track. Because before I was very conservative when it comes to... Come on, come on, there we go. I was very conservative when it comes to driving this car because stock brakes, stock pads, stock discs, everything stock. I didn't want to yeah end up with no brakes and end up somewhere in the gravel in Arenberg or even worse in the barrier so yeah we'll see for the rest stock map it's gonna be pretty boring but <laughs> dum, 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 dum. but yeah soon we're gonna remap the car so maybe in two days the action on track will be a bit more exciting so to say first braking point Ooh, there's a lot more braking ABS wants to kick in a lot earlier for obvious reasons because brakes have a lot more braking power now in comparison to previously gentle tap here turning in very good full use of the track I would say let all the guys pass It was nice for a bit. <laughs> we chased the GT3 RS. <laughs> Almost no braking here, but oh, oh, traction control really doesn't like it. Absolutely not. So you can stay home. Some traffic behind us, let them pass. So much more confidence in the car, obviously. Can stick onto the people's tails. Not that you should be doing that on TF, but I really want to be racing RCN with this car next year. So that could be, yeah, definitely something for them. Well, so far we can go flat out through Flugplatz but that might change once the car is remapped so just a reference point <laughs> now here is where we're gonna see the full benefit of the brakes What's 
stickier tires it would probably definitely be better but already this was something I would never in my life dare with a stock car obviously so with great power comes great responsibility and I'm saying that because before I always said before I'm gonna chip tune the car or put bigger turbo on it we need to sort the brakes out no way that we're gonna make more power if if it's not controllable so very happy with it so far tires are a bit hot now that was a full clumsy move of mine and there we go on to the boring street I would say excuse but the tires are now hotter a lot sooner than they were before now, of course it's also a lot warmer than it was before but tires do warm up faster because of the bigger brakes and the heat that they generate so it's kind of an advantage I would say for a track car to have bigger brakes to warm up your tires sooner uh, we can chill out here for the our speed limits no speed limits quiro for today sorry for that it's staying home Dum, 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 dum. I'm kind of sad that Bright Shite is still closed because I would really want to use this opportunity to get off here and get some ice cream or actually do groceries even. Oh well. Oh wow, he had, he had even some sparks from underneath his sliders. That's proper racing. You know, I used to know a guy in the past when I was into bike world that would buy sliders, knee sliders, and then he would grind them off like with actual sandpaper to make it look as if he is, well, <laughs> he's using them himself, but that was pretty sad. slightly so this is going to be our indicator when we're gonna have the tune yeah you see them dropping from three and a half to below three thousand but I'm just gonna keep it in fifth gear flat out to mood curve there we go no lift Whee! even some curbstone using full track excuses here Misha change <laughs> I even 
have to shift down because the speed is dropping while I'm keeping my foot on the accelerator. obviously not enough to get used to the new brakes because you can brake so much more later gentle tap and steering in easy as that will be obviously different with higher speeds but for now it's the confidence that's the most important part that you get with this car with the better brakes so Next part, of course, for the handling would be suspension. We we're waiting for the new camber plates, so that will be next. I'm satisfied it will take a few laps to get used to it but the most important thing is there is that we can proceed with everything else so yeah next time a bit faster lap with a bit of more horsepower hopefully <laughs>